Hey Mark, how you doing? It's Buddy from Capistrano Volkswagen, the sales and internet manager. I told you I'd send you the video of the 2019 Atlas. I actually have the SE with technology right behind me. It's just like the SE, but it has three different features. I will point out those features for you. First, hope you enjoy this walk around. Here you go. All right, Mark, this is the 2019 Atlas SE with technology. Uh, the three different things that the SE with tech has that the SE does not have um, is the remote start, the um, rear tailgate and the adaptive cruise control, which I'll point out to you. Uh, great thing in the front of the car, it does have the autonomous braking, so if someone cuts you off, um, this will apply the brakes for you if you don't know what's going on. It also has a blind spot monitoring sensors right here for uh, people in your blind spot that highlights. And also my favorite is rear traffic. On the back of the car, um, if you're backing out of just say Target, um, it has a radar that goes left and right and it's looking for someone that's driving down the aisle a little bit too fast and that's coming up behind you. As soon as the car detects someone, it gives you a beep. If you still back up, what happens is it actually applies the brakes. Let's take a look on the inside of the SE. Like I said, this would be just like the SE with tech. I mean, this is the SE with tech, but the SE is identical. Um, you get the leatherette interior, you get the Apple CarPlay radio, the wood on the inside, um, dual climate control with heated seats, you also get the electronic parking brake. Uh, this is your push button start and also the three different things are, here's one of them right here, the adaptive cruise control. This is what the SE with tech has and also your SEL. If you're on the highway doing 80 miles an hour with the adaptive cruise control and you come up to traffic doing 30, your car mirrors that 30. So as soon as that car in front of you moves out of the way, your car goes back to that 80 miles an hour. Um, you do have a little self to mirror view mirror, Apple CarPlay radio or Android Auto like I said. Um, it also does have engine start stop. Not sure if you're able to see that. A couple USB points, multifunction steering wheel with voice command, and also a nice MFI multifunction indicator that gives you your digital speed, miles per gallon, point A to point B. Um, great thing about this car is it's the easiest third row to get into out of all the vehicles. This is my bench seat. Mark, it also comes with the captain's chairs. With captain's chairs, it actually takes out a seat and charges you uh, $600 more um, for that. And it does have the sunshades on the side. And a lot of people think, hey, I want the captain's chairs where it's easier for my kids to get in the back. But if you lift this up, that whole seat slides out of the way. So it's actually the easiest to get into for grandparents and kids just to jump in this way. With me being 6'2", I still have about a two, three inch gap in between my legs. And that would be the front cabin view. All right, in the back of the car, um, the SE, it has a regular tailgate. This one's the SE with tech, so watch this. When I hit the button, it comes up power mark and that's also height adjustable so I could put that at whatever height I want to this is how much room you get in the back which is quite a bit of room and then the drop seats how easy is that it just goes straight down the great thing about the third row is I have air for the third row and also cup holders in the back and let's go out and show you what an SL looks like I think I have a burgundy one outside all right mark this is my SEL Atlas right here. I have it in a bunch of different colors. Um, this one's burgundy with the black wheels. Uh, great thing about this SEL, how you guys doing? Great thing about this SEL is the sunroof in this car already comes standard and this one also has the digital dash and it also has the parking sensors on front and back. Let me show you that. All right, one thing you do get in the SEL that you don't get in the SE or the SE with tech is the memory seats, one, two, and three position. They also switched for 2019 the Audi Digital Dash. This thing is gorgeous. Let me show you how that is. Instead of having your Apple uh, or Android Auto work from your phone by plugging it in, this one has nav standard inside the car. But if you hit this button right here, you transfer the nav right behind the steering wheel, which is amazing, just like Audi. And with the view, you can kind of switch the dials and how the dials look, classic look, gear and speed. So you kind of customize the dash and how it looks. Uh, voice command for everything, like I said, inside the car, auto lights, fog lights, one touch windows with pinch protection. And this is one that has the captain's chairs right there so you can see what it looks like compared to the bucket seats that I showed you in the one before this. Look at the view of the sunroof, unbelievable. So that'd be the difference. I have tons of atlases. Um, since I own Mazda next door, I keep 386 cars across the street. I think I have uh, nine of them here, and I have another 24 Atlases across the street. 
Thanks, Mark. Uh, sorry about the wait on the video. We got slammed today at work. Good day for us, but uh, please, any questions, I'd love to answer them for you. Uh, once again, buddy from Capistrano Volkswagen, 760-415-6331. Have a great day, Mark.